So someone was nice enough to point out that we'll be facing electric types today. I'm not too happy about that. But <laughs> anyways guys, what's going on? You're hanging with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to the Pokemon Y Butterfree Soul Run. Um if I don't seem super energetic right now, it's because I'm not super energetic and I'm I'm like dead, so hi. Sorry I passed away before you I could like publish this video, which means probably nobody's seeing right now. No, I just got back from uh I went out running because I'm an awesome, in-shape human being that's not complete, that's completely false, but it's not a little worn out. But right now, what you guys are watching is I am in the San Francisco Bay Area at the YouTube headquarters. So exciting, in fact. I, in the preparation of the event, I had 500 of these bad boys made. I got business cards, which also reminds me, I now have, and hopefully you guys are paying attention to this because, oh, oh no. Oh, things are falling. Oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, hope you guys are paying attention because I now have a P.O. box and this information will be down in the description. I would love, love, love for you guys to send me some stuff. Just letters, Pokemon cards, uh, chicken. Please don't actually send me chicken. Please don't send food unless it's like uh, not perishable. Like uh, gummy worms would be cool. If you have any like leftover gummy worms, like it, it could be old lying on your ground. Just put it in an envelope, send it to me. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that information is down in the bottom, and uh, feel free to let me know, like, if you do send something, that'd be really cool, like, to know, to expect something, because right now, my mailbox is empty, it makes me kind of sad, but I didn't realize, like, I've had it for two days now, so, <laughs> I guess, oh, you're faster than me, oh, that could be a problem, if you weren't at the Denny in a complete waste of space. What level are you? Am I underleveled now? Because I was a little worried I might be a little over, oh, electric resist, oh, that's right, you're part fairy! Oh, I completely forgot that was a thing. Why are you part fairy? I don't know, but you are. Also, I turned the move things back off. Okay, we need more sticky notes. Where are the sticky notes? Oh no! Oh, guys, I, I lost this. I lost the sticky notes. Oh. Oh, it's gonna put a sticky note. You know, I got I got a whiteboard that I put my to do list on every day. We're just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put turn off. Moves, turn, on, moves. I, I literally just scribbled. <laughs> I didn't write anything legible, unfortunately. I would show you guys what's on my to-do list, but it may contain spoilers about things I'll be doing in the future, and we just can't let that stuff slipping out now, can we? But, at least I didn't have to waste the turn going for sleep powder, I suppose, if you were just, oh, oh, you outsmarted me. What? What? <laughs> what? That can flinch since when? Also, why aren't you waking up? Isn't this your third turn of sleep? Or... No, I'm getting all mixed up. Anyways, yeah. So, those are like the two things I really wanted to talk about, and I thought it would take longer to talk about, but tomorrow... Oh my god, tomorrow! I'm also, after the whole YouTube event, um, I am going to San Francisco to visit the Twitch headquarters, uh, take a tour of the Twitch offices, where I will be meeting... For the first time, after watching him for like four years, my senpai, Blacklight Attack. I'll be meeting him in person, beard to beard, raccoon to Caterpie, oh my god, I will be vlogging this entire thing, but the vlog will more than likely be over on, I might do, I don't know, I might split them up, like one vlog here and one vlog on uh, Hardy Tack, I'm not sure yet, but, oh my god, I'm so excited, I have to wake up like at 5 in the morning, uh, I probably should be, eh, I was gonna say I should be doing other things, but I really have nothing else to be doing besides this right now, it's like almost 8pm, I'll probably be going to sleep like about... 10, which is very weird for me because I normally don't wake up until, or I normally don't go to sleep until, no wait, that's the text speed, oh no, there we go, I normally don't go to sleep until like 2 in the morning, so this is going to be really weird, like having to go to sleep early, uh, having to wake up early, I'll probably have harder time falling asleep than I will waking up, like, oh I was, oh I wasn't paying any attention, <laughs> please tell me the question again, <laughs> okay it's a fletchling. Uh, okay, number one. That's easy. I mean, I could have theoretically, like, when I'm doing Nuzlocks, I talk to every wrong trainer just to get the extra EXP, but I don't really think that's necessary in this one, because if I'm going to lose, an extra level probably isn't going to help much. The one good thing is, with me facing Magneton, is... Does Steel resist Psychic? Because I know Steel doesn't resist Dark or Ghost anymore. I don't know if it resists Psychic or not. Uh, but I can't bug... Whoa, that just got... Oh my god! Oh, are we seriously doing this again? I thought we got past this issue. 
Wow. Since the Ooh, that almost killed the first episode. We were doing we were doing so well with this whole like this sound thing being better. And then 16 episodes later, it decides to make a nice comeback. That's cool. What's odd is it's like it knows whenever I'm done recording, which I don't really understand because for like the past 10 videos, every time I click stop about 30 seconds after I stop the recording is when it just the volume suddenly goes up tenfold and I don't know what causes that. It's a giant mystery to me. But how many of these stupid quizzes do you have to take? I feel like it's five. Although this is one gym I really like, I kind of wish they made the questions a little more difficult. And I, I do realize this is a kid's game. They can't make it like... What was the first book? <sighs> I'm trying to think, what trivia questions would they make that'd be like difficult for a kid? In this one, they're just... At least they, they kind of mix, mix it up a little. Like, um... Well, not in these ones. They're just like, oh, which Pokemon is this? But I think later on, they show you like three... Pokemon or something and they're like go to the corresponding trainer for whichever one this is or something like that um or they'll show like number one is a silhouette number two is a silhouette number three is a silhouette and then they say uh go to whichever number is so and so like Butterfree I think oh, we're gonna see a Butterfree silhouette coming up I remember I think they show Butterfree a Vivillon and a um Really, of all the opportunities, you decided to go for Bubble Beam instead. But, and they show a, um, probably a Beautify, I would assume. Or a Moth, no, I think it's a Mothim, because, uh, Beautify and, and Butterfree, they're so, it's probably like relative. well, I don't know, their body shapes are completely different. We need to, like, get it a head on head comparison of, like, Pokemon anatomy going on here. Because. Wait, what? What? Wasn't that Pan Sage? That's Pan Poor. No, wait, no, that's Pan Sage. No, it's not. Pan Sage has the Afro. God. Wait, no, which one is Pan Poor? I'm not paying attention. I was so focused. No, give me the quiz again. I'm so dumb. I can't believe I thought that was Pan Sage. I was. I was literally just saying these quizzes are too easy. <laughs> and then I immediately fail one because I'm a dumbass. Oh my god. Wow. Karma. Karma's a bitch. Which is fitting because I recently, um, very against my will, no, not really, I inf invested in Netflix, which is a wonderful, wonderful program. But it also, actually, I wouldn't really say Netflix um, has hurt my productivity at all because I only ever watch Netflix at night, like before I'm about to fall asleep. But, um,. Or when I'm, I'm editing, like sometimes when I'm editing, I'll have it on in the background. But one of my favorite TV shows of all time is a show called My Name is Earl, which is... Interesting. The show is interesting too, but wow, I was not expecting Power Gem from this thing. Uh, hopefully this kills or you don't wake up. Okay, luckily it killed. Thankfully. <laughs> but, um... And that show's about karma, so it's kind of fitting that, like, I've been watching that, and all of a sudden, karma is happening in my life with these freaking Pokemon. Actually, that's pretty much my entire channel in general, is just karma. Every single time I've ever said anything was going to be easy, referencing the uh, past gym battle in this game, it immediately turns out to be a giant pain in the ass. And I think the first instance of that, and I don't know why I remember these little things, was back in my Spirit Gold Nuzlocke, I was about to take on the ice type dude, whatever his name is, and I'm like, guys, this is gonna be an easy video, it's gonna be like 10 minutes at most, and it'll be over, I'm sorry. Uh, and it ended up being like a 30 minute video because his freaking dugong was rest me. Ah! Oh. Eh, I actually really like Mothim, so, eh. Which one is Vivillon? No, I wanna talk to you. You seem so much nicer. You seem like a bitch. You seem nice. I wanna be your friend. Number three is okay. Like I don't mind number three. You're you're like an okay person, but you I have to talk. I have to you know, there's a reason Vivillon's number is six six six. Just say I love how before six generation came out, um Everybody is like, man, what's Pokemon 666 going to be? I bet it's going to be like a dark type or like a fire type or just something evil looking. <laughs> it's a butterfly. <laughs> like, come on. That's just not like the best thing ever, right? I'm not the only one. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh, I didn't realize that. Please don't have quick attack. You have a super potion, which is almost just as bad. 
Uh, are you gonna have a quick attack? Are you gonna have a quick attack? Are you gonna have a quick attack? You don't. Or you, you're just not smart enough to use it. Oh my god, I would have gone into the gym battle with like no HP left. That would have been a little awkward. I gotta pay attention. And speaking of gym battles, I do want to apologize because um, I have been reading the comments in the last video. The Great Epiphany. There were some people that were quite upset about what I did with that gym. Like there was someone who said they're just not going to watch the series anymore because of how I handled that situation. And I admit I did feel kind of guilty about that, but I also didn't want to train up to like level 60 or something. And someone brought up a really good strategy with X defense, which probably would have worked better. That's not something I thought of. The problem with this now is like if we have trouble with this magneton, we can't, there's no X items for special defense. So, but the good thing is we could put magneton to sleep. Uh, so that kind of balances that out, I suppose. But I promise from this point forward, I will not do any more cheating. If we reach a point where I think the only way to win is grinding, um, up to a, a level where it would remove the challenge from the rest of the game, I will admit defeat on this series because I don't, want to have and I, sh I probably should do that now because I did cheat and I don't think the Giga Drain thing back in the first gym was considered cheating because that was completely real Butterfree can learn Giga Drain at this level via move tutor uh, so there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion it's not like I put a super late game TM on him or something uh, oh Emoga interesting I really really wish I had Quiver Dance because that would be so wonderful right now Acrobatics? Okay, Aerialist is uh, definitely better than Acrobatics. Oh, never mind! <laughs> okay. Oh. That's wonderful. Uh, at least he didn't have Volt Switch. Or, actually, I don't know. Volt Switch might have been better. Because that did a ton of damage. Should I? I should probably be healing up, huh? Is this a... Maybe, well, maybe this is a two-hit KO. Oh my god, Butterfree, you're so freaking weak! I need Psychic so badly, and I don't think you get Psychic till... Yeah, you don't get Psychic until, like, you get Waterfall. After the 8th gym is when you get Psychic. That's ridiculous. Alright, well, we have plenty of Hyper Potions. Should I be going for the kill here? No, because I can't live another Aerial Ace. I have to just keep attacking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, now, now all of a sudden we're in one of those situations where I was just talking about. Because that did... I mean, it looks like I could potentially potentially live another one. Maybe. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna assume maybe I will. Why aren't you volt switching? You always volt switch. Ugh. Are we really gonna have to do this crap again? X defense. X defense. X defense. This person will be so mad at me if I don't use X defense. Because that's actually, like, at first I'm like, that strategy won't work. They'll just kill me before I can get up enough X defense because I'll have to keep healing. But... The way they described it does sound plausible. Do you sell X-Defense, sir? You don't. Oh. Where do you get this crap, then? Oh, I was wrong. There is an X-Special Defense now. Hmm. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's, it was introduced in Generation 4, because all the other ones were Gen 1, and then Special Defense, they're like, oh, we should probably add that in this game. Maybe that's important. So, for some reason, this entire freaking town, or town of not Castellia, doesn't sell X items. So I'm going to have to head all the way to the nearest one, which I believe is probably... Santaloon? I don't know what half these freaking town names are, I don't recognize them. Santaloon has them, Silage has them, um... Oh my god, what is this? Certain ones only sell certain ones? What? That's stupid. Santuin and Silage Towns are the only ones to sell X Defense. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, I just realized I'm not that far from Santuin. I thought Santuin was um, a lot farther away, but that's just south of Lumios, so that's easy to get to. I have no idea if I skipped any of these trainers or if they're going to make this very difficult. I feel like we should start a law that states all Pokemarts should freaking sell everything, because this is stupid. So I just learned something really exciting. Butterfree gets Quiver Dance at level 46. So we are almost, almost at Quiver Dance, which will make... What am I going to get rid of? Oh, I guess Psybeam. 
Psybeam has been the least useful move. Like, it hits so lightly. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what I'll have to go with. What level are we now? I think we're like 44 or 45? Hmm. Oh, back to the gym we go. That must be awkward. They're just standing here, not, not, not talking to themselves. <laughs> not talking to each other, or themselves either, I guess, I suppose. Just sitting there, realizing their failures in life. Must be a nice feeling. Oh, Clement, you are in... Actually, I can't... Now that I'm using X items, I can't soft reset. Because someone made the argument that, like, soft reset was kind of cheating because it stopped me from losing out of money. The, the problem with that is I was basically broke by the time I was doing soft reset because I was spending all of my money on potions. Um, and I was never using any potions in the battles where I was soft resetting anyways because I was just instantly dying. Now I'm in a situation where I am losing essential items, so I can't soft reset. And the one flaw in this plan is a potential critical hit. Uh, that's like the one thing... Oh my god, we're 44. We are so close to getting... Uh, this is also like one of the first times I've ever used X items, so... How exciting. Uh, Aerial should do under half now, hopefully. Assuming you don't get a freaking crit. Oh, okay, that didn't do very much at all. Do I want to go for special defense ones as well? Because we are going to have to deal with Magneton. And this thing might Volt Switch. Which, if it goes for Volt Switch, is going to cause us a world of problems. See, the one great thing about once we get Bug Buzz, is, or uh, Quiver Dance, is it will increase our, um, our thingamabob, our special defense. No! Oh my god! I'm so glad I went for that extra special defense when I did. Okay, am I faster than you? Am I faster than you? I'm... Can I put you to sleep? I feel like for some reason I can't. I'm definitely faster than you. Okay. If I would have missed that sleep powder, I probably would have cried. Uh, I feel like I should heal up. You could potentially paralyze me. I'm not really afraid of that. Actually, I am kind of afraid of that, because outspeeding you is kind of essential. Um, gotta think this through, gotta think this through. Do I need any more X special defenses? I took that Volt Switch surprisingly well. I don't need any more X defenses, I know that much. If you go for Electric Terrain, that's great. You resist Bug Buzz. Do you resist Psybeam? I don't actually know. I'm going to go for at least one X special attack. Just in case, because that will definitely help. Um, if I feel like I'm going to need more X special defenses. I feel like I'm making a mistake here, not going for them. Nah, I'll be fine. Let's, um... Do you... Hold on. I'll just risk it. Do you resist Psy Beam? I can't remember if you do or not. God damn it, you do. Ooh, but I did a decent amount. Okay, you went for Thunderbolt. I should be able to take that. Not bad over half. Bug Buzz will do the most, uh, because that that's my most powerful move and all my moves are resisted, so... <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? That is totally... That's potion range. Okay, actually, I don't mind that being potion range. Uh, actually, I do. Actually, no, this won't take you down to your sturdy end. This is going to be a two-hit KO at this range, right? I should have just gone for Bug Buzz in the first place. I don't know why I thought Steel didn't resist Psychic for some reason. Steel resist everything. Ooh! I forgot Bug Buzz did that. That's really handy. And Psybeam should be a two-hit KO on a Mulga now. Heliosk could be a problem. No, Heliosk won't be a problem, because you don't resist Bug Buzz. You could probably be faster than me, though. That could be the problem. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I had it all figured out. I had the whole plan figured out! No! It really annoys me that the gym leaders don't have, like, animated entrances, because I feel like they should. Like, they feel special enough, and freaking Sycamore gets one, and gym leaders don't. What kind of madness is that? Just don't go for Volt Switch, and I should be fine. Thank you for- thank you for sticking with your strategy. Okay. Get another... I don't need another area. Actually, I'm going to start going under Special Defense, because I could take two more Aerial Aces at that range. And Special Defense is definitely more important at this... Oh, right! I'm, I choose Special Defenses at the perfect times, let me tell you. I somehow seem to have a knack for that. Um, and I know with one... with plus one Special Attack, Bug Buzz two shots Magneton. Which is awesome. Uh, 
Don't you dare miss the sleep powder. So I feel like we're in a decent position now. Uh, because T-Bolt won't kill us. T-Bolt is, I think, technically a three-hit KO on us after one special... Do I, do I heal up first? I gotta heal up first. That's definitely more important. Don't you dare wake up. Don't you dare... Okay. Magneton seems to like staying asleep so far from what I've noticed, and I, I respect that about him. I think, you know, he makes good decisions in his life. Uh, let's go for our X special attack now. Should I go for an X speed so I can... I don't need to outspeed Heliosk. I just need to live a hit from it. Electric Train, I'm perfectly... Actually, what does Electric Train even do? Does that boost the power of electric moves? Should I be, like, afraid of that? Because... What? What does Electric Train do? Why is it so scary? Oh, that's not good. It stops statuses. Oh, I thought it boosted electric type moves. Ugh. Uh, maybe with another X special defense, I can live another one. Maybe. I. Oh wow, I completely tricked me. Like the thunder going off in the background. It just. It seems like that's what it would maybe do. <laughs> I was so dumb. If I would have just bug buzzed, that would have been a completely different situation. Because then I would have just be able to kill it on the next turn and then deal with the Heliolisk. Life just didn't go that way. Are you kidding me? Okay, things we learned today. Electric Terrain stops status moves. I was not expecting it. I thought it was like Rain Dance or something like that. Or, um, um, Sunny Day where it boosted the type of moves and lowers the usefulness of other moves. I guess it's more like um that grassy terrain or whatever it is, like the fairy one that makes it like all grassy and flowers and pretty everywhere that's for some reason a fairy type move, despite the fact that it just like makes grass appear. I don't understand it either. Ooh, I could put you to sleep and then set up. Never mind. But I could switch in I could put ever you switch into to sleep, so that works too. Magneton is fine. Uh, because I can get you to sleep now, as long as you don't wake up on this first turn. I should be in a decent position, because I gotta heal up, and then start going for my X defense. Uh, my X special defense. Don't you dare wake up, don't you dare wake up, don't you dare wake up, don't you dare wake up! Keep those three eyes closed, you psych- super cyclops, or triclops. Actually, I feel like that's the real term, I don't think I just came up with anything fancy there. Which actually makes me kinda sad. Okay, so I think right now Thunderbolt is still a 2 at KO, so we need another one. Staying asleep is good, but I also need an X special attack, because that makes Bug Buzz a 2 hit KO. You know, if we get X special if we get enough special defense, I can set up special attack without having to worry. I just need to be able to take at least one Thunderbolt. Like I need to be able to take potentially two Thunderbolts. Electric train is fine, sort of. I can't put you back to sleep. And Bug Buzz isn't a 2 hit KO from this range, so let's go for X special attack now. Thunderbolt should be a 3 hit KO at this point. As long as you don't paralyze me, I will be happy. Oh, that's like right in that range where it could go either way. And that scares me. Like, if this Heliolisk comes out and gets a crit, I'm just gonna be just so done with life. Don't paralyze me, don't paralyze me, don't paralyze me. <sighs> Magneton down. Okay. Now whatever comes into, I can heal, and I'm wasting away turns of this electric train, which is good too, because the sooner this goes away, the sooner I can um, set up a sleep powder. So now we're going to find out if that Thunderbolt mattered. Uh, I would assume... Actually, I don't know if Magneton's special attack or your special attack is higher. It's probably yours. Which means this is probably a two-hit KO. Which means I'm in trouble. No, it's not. Yes, that's perfect. I would have to disappear because I can move another one of those. So I can put you to sleep. Actually, I'm gonna go for an next special. Oh, I just unplugged my headphones. I'm sorry. I can go for an next special defense, and then I'll live another one. Assuming she doesn't get a crit, of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Making the plans. Making the decisions. I'm trying to think this through because I don't want to lose again because I'm losing so freaking much. Don't you dare get a crit. Oh, look how slow that HP goes down. It's so freaking beautiful. And this should have to be 
the last sniper potion I could use for us. Um, bug was. God damn it! Why does my headphones keep doing that? That's right. I must be stepping in the court or something. I just don't realize it. I'm sorry. Everything is going wrong today. I don't even care if I get paralyzed at this point because um, I don't really. I'm already slower than you as it is. So and I'm slower than a Molga. Doesn't really matter anymore. Bug was should be a one hit KO or a, a yeah should be. <gasps> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Everything was perfect! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Everything was perfect! And. <sighs> that entire time I was facing Ramon, and I got one crit, and Clebin's already got two crits out of like three tries. Wait, have we done this every time we've come to battle them? Because I guess I just haven't been paying attention. Oh well. So I have a new strategy this time. Um, might not be the best strategy, but I think it'll work out pretty well. I'm going to put this Amolga to sleep, because I feel like this Amolga is the best thing to set up on, because it does the least amount of damage, and that Magneton scares me. So I know after, an aer after one Aerial Ace, we can put it to sleep, and X defend means we could take another aerial ace, and then from there, we'll start setting up on this thing. Assuming, assuming it stays asleep a while, because as always, our plan is relying on luck, and I'm really starting to wonder why I thought this series would be a good idea. Just don't go for Volt Switch, and I'll be happy. Really? Uh, okay, now you can go for Volt Switch, because I just needed the one X defense. I'm gonna run out of all these X items, and then I'm gonna be like, out of money, and I won't be able to buy anymore. <laughs> ah! I don't know why I only bought ten of each. That I'd say it looks, seems like a really dumb idea. Keep using aerial ace, and I'll be very happy. Don't volt switch, please. Thank you. How much does this do? Seventy-four to. Oh, I can't live another one. I didn't think that was doing so much. Fantastic. You can volt switch now. Actually, I'm. I'm I'm done with you. I'm ready for Magneton to come in, to be completely honest. Or you can just keep going for Aerial Ace, too. I mean, that actually is perfectly fine, because I could put you to sleep this turn. Is that what I want to do? No. I'm going to I'm gonna go for my uh, X Special Attack now, actually. Because that's super essential to this entire strategy. If you keep going for Aerial Ace... I have no complaints about that. Of course that is if you don't get a crit. And we should be good with potions now. I realize I'm using a lot of potions. There's literally no other way to do this battle besides getting to like level 100. So I'm sorry if you guys are upset by that. Because apparently it's not fair if I cheat. So, losers. Uh, surprised you haven't... Psybeam. You don't resist Psybeam. So that would be a better choice here. Would it? Actually, now I'm trying to figure that out. If Psybeam... Yeah, Psybeam should be a better choice. We might get to Confusion. Wow, of course that doesn't kill, but if you can burn one of your potions... Are you gonna burn a potion? Are you gonna burn a potion? Are you gonna burn a potion? Doesn't matter either way. Doesn't matter, because I'm gonna heal here, he's gonna heal, and then... We're probably back in the same place, to be honest. You know, I thought this would be like a quick recording, like 20 minutes or something, and I just passed the 40 minute mark for this recording. That's lovely. I should have put him to sleep, that would have been so much smarter. I didn't think of that. Oh! Okay, that's the crit of this battle, right? Get it out of the way, and we're good? Oh, we're gonna run out of hyper potions, oh my god. If you get another crit, okay, that's three crits. Okay, waste all your potions on the Molga. That makes me happy. I actually didn't think he'd use his other potion there, I didn't even think about it. I just thought myself at like red HP, I'm like, eh, that's not gonna do. Um, okay, okay. Put you to sleep. No, I just gotta go for the kill. Anyways, that's fine. Just don't get a crit, man. <laughs> just don't get a crit, man. I could use a crit right now. Of course, I'm not going to get it. And the scary thing is, if this Amoga gets a crit, I'm dead. I just want to point that out. <sighs> Amoga's gone. Surprisingly, he never went for Volt Switch. That's actually really surprising. Magneton should be up next. I am okay with this, because I could put you to sleep, 
if things go well for me, I could heal up, and then... Um... I could go for another special defense. Because the Heliolisk's T-Bolt really scares me. I feel really shitty about using all these potions, because... I'm like super anti-potion spamming in Nuzlocke's, but I feel like this is a completely different situation than in Nuzlocke. And, and in this kind of situation, it's a lot more acceptable, what I'm doing. Hopefully. I don't know, maybe I'm just like the devil. That would suck. Okay, I can't really think Magneton can touch me much now. So, and Heliosk, hopefully shouldn't be able to either. Look up, that's fine. Electric Train, that is perfect, because I will be able to kill a Magneton without taking any damage. Huey Lisk, if you don't get a crit, my life will be okay. And he doesn't have any more potions, so he can't possibly, like, if I somehow put it in red, Giga Train should get the kill here. If you don't get a crit. If you don't get a crit. If you don't get a crit. Yes. How much does Bug Buzz do? I don't think we've ever actually managed to hit it before. Oh, so gone. <sighs> X items are just as stressful. Oh my god. I kind of wish I'd, I thought about this strategy when we were facing the um, the jump bluff, because then I wouldn't have had to use the uh, <clears throat> other strategy. But we used it now. I feel like the ice type gym will be a lot easier because nothing there resists bug buzz. I should be faster and everything, and I can put him to sleep. And I'll have quiver dance by that point. So like a few quiver dances, ice beam won't do that much to me anyways. So I feel like this, like all the super tough challenges. Well, the elite four could be kind of. Oh my god, there's a freaking steel type elite four member with like um, a scissor. Oh god, what am I gonna do there? I don't know. I'm scared. Hopefully soon I'll get like the energy ball TM and the psychic TM and I can like keep switching those back and forth. Which would be really really helpful to be able to like, and shadow ball. Like once I start getting all these TMs I can start switching out to whichever one I need the most. And that'll be really helpful. But, Hollow Clip, yay. I don't give a crap what you're about to tell me. Is this the part where you're like, um, oh no we're actually, okay. We'll go do the whole Lissandra cap thing. Really quick, I like how he tells us to get a cap. I actually had no idea where Lissandra's cap was, the first, Lissandra's um, thing was, the first time you go there, because it's just like, oh, it's the one with the red roof. You mean every freaking building in this town that has like the five million cafes on it? How would you have known it's this tiny little cafe right here if you didn't use a cab? You wouldn't know. It was just impossible to know, but anyways... Um, as we finish up this little discussion here, I'm going to do my farewells for this video because they're, who gives a crap what they're saying. Of course, guys, remember to like I said at the beginning of this video. Uh, actually, I think I forgot to say at the beginning of this video, this part is not, this video is not a part of Team Gotta Be Takeover because I will not have videos tomorrow on Friday. Because like I said, right now when this video is going up, I am at the YouTube headquarters and I'm going to be gone all day doing uh, YouTube and going and visiting Twitch and stuff so I won't be able to record tomorrow. Uh, so there will be no videos on Friday. With that said, you can support the Team Canopy Takeover anyways for brand new videos on Saturday, which would be really awesome. Ooh, the King's Rock. I, I realize I'm really delayed. This video isn't out of sync. Um, that could be really interesting to, like, increase flinch chance. That'd be cool. But, yeah, we will have new videos on Saturday. Just wanted to warn you guys there won't be anything new. Definitely send stuff to my P.O. Box. That would be freaking awesome. Oh, my God. Really? Guys, I don't give a freaking coconut head. Go away. No one, no one likes you. Give me this one round 14. There's literally nowhere else I can go on this game anyways. Like, they're gonna say, no, you can't go this way. You're dumb. So, thank you for trying to help, and you were just a giant waste of time. But, anyways, let's try this again. That is gonna do it for us today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, I feel like I just talked about this part. I always get messed up on my intros because I repeat things, and that seems really annoying, and I'm sorry if I'm really annoying. I didn't mean to. Did I mention I now have super awesome business cards now? Just saying. They're freaking adorable. I'm already taking yo-yo. Goodbye.